Welcome back, everybody, to the Birdies and Bourbon Show. So glad you're able to join us. Thanks for all of our followers who have liked us, who've uh, left comments, and who've subscribed. If you haven't done it yet, it is not too late. Feel free to do so. <laughs> Dan, hey, uh, you know what? It's uh, This is, yeah, I'm still excited. We've still got live golf on. It's oh, going to yeah. be, it's going to be equally as good to have live golf. But man, do we have some decisions to make this week? Oh my goodness. Yes, we do. I was going through this today and prepare and just preparing for this and Definitely the field. You can feel how much weaker it is this week because everybody's expensive as hell. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, hold on. Wait a minute. I, I just got you last week for $6,300. How did you just turn into an over $8,000 player? Oh, uh, Norlander. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 don't get I think I've played him every week since the return. <laughs> Dude, I've tried. I wanted to buy him at, uh, what, uh, after Hilton had, I said, I'll take him at whatever he was he was um hey not very much i can tell you that like 1600 bucks or something like that. yeah, <laughs> it's yeah crazy hey hold on so uh so this week so we're leaving dublin yep. ohio yep leaving jack's place yep uh what a great win by the spaniard john rom d hey he has dethroned the irishman what a storyline and uh can't wait to see some of the memes we're going to get off that one but uh, but we're heading north. Uh, we're going to uh, we're going to the Twin Cities, uh, mm -hmm. TPC Twin Cities in Minnesota. Uh, it's a par seventy one, just over seventy one hundred yards. Once again, we're on bent grass greens. Everything should be blazing fast. Our twenty nineteen winner. Mm. We don't say this name much. Well, let me let me. <laughs> there was a chance. <laughs> there was from a marketing perspective, people wanted us to say it a lot more. Uh, Taylor made has got to be smiling that somebody that whoever made that decision, uh, for the drive for charity, they're going like, yep, yep. See, told you they're talking about Matt Wolf. Here you go. <laughs> uh, so Matt Wolf, 21 under a year ago. Uh, yeah, I know it's, uh, I mean, Hey, Brett, I mean, what a difference we're going to see from last week's tournament to this week's tournament. I mean, it's, uh, kind of not night and day, you know? So uh, what do we got? I mean, we're still we're at a ball strikers course again, man. I think it's uh, you know, it's what are we going to Eagles, uh, birdies and Eagles are going to be the tricks that are going to kind of you know that are going to bump the scores up from a strategy standpoint. Uh, you know, it it is all ball striking all the way down. The bad news is most of our ball strikers aren't in the lineup this week, so we're uh, we're going to get educated on some golfers that we may not typically watch or use so much, man. Yeah. No, I agree. I, I mean, I was looking at the lineups and I was just like, I couldn't believe uh, some people that were not playing this week. But yeah, yeah, keep going. Well, think about it. So last year, uh, you've got uh, Matt Wolf, the winner, Colin Morikawa, runner up. So, you know, I, I guess it, it's, are you going to argue if Matt Wolf's a ball? Well, Matt Wolf's a ball striker if he can make the cut. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, that's his game. But Morikawa, I mean, he just won uh, not this weekend, had a little had a rough weekend. But uh, last weekend he won the uh, the Workday Challenge and I uh, thought he did great. man. so, you know, and, and it was, again, ball striking at its finest. So. Uh, so there you go. Uh, just kind of thinking about, you know, what's uh, you know, it's been lengthened a little. Uh, what has it been lengthened about 300 yards? So, again, at 7,100, you know, we, I don't think it really makes a difference. Uh, nobody out there is going to have trouble getting to anything. Three of the par fours are measuring over 200. But still, uh, I don't, you know, I mean, you got scores coming in at 21 under, and then you got uh, this previous weekend at Muirfield at 9 under. And then every tournament prior to, uh, since the restart, have been high teens or 20s. So, you know, we're getting back to kind of the norm of what we had, you know, uh, prior to Muirfield. So, uh, what do we get? Two, far, two par fours over 500. Uh, and we got three par fives. Uh, and all of them are eagle, e you know, eagle holes. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, I think it's going to be fun to see some of these guys. And, and you know, we're going to kind of peel it back. Uh, a couple of guys that, you know, I, I did get a pick or two, uh, you know, the top tier. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think it's going to be um, I think it's going to be fun to see uh, see some people capitalize on a otherwise short field. So 
the course was lengthened quite a bit uh, from when it was a, a Champions Tour kind of course. Um, but yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head. I mean, I don't think it's going to be anything too difficult. You saw the minus 21 last year. Yeah. I would. I, I don't know if they're going to beat that this year or not if, with the strength of the field. Uh, what do you think? Well, I mean, it was Matt Wolf that did it. So, and, and, and you know, but Morikawa was not playing this week. So, no, I, I don't think they'll. I don't think they'll be better than twenty-one under. Uh, I mean, I do imagine it's going to be you know mid to high teens. So, a lot of uh, water out there, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yep. And uh, yeah, I, I just don't think. It's, I think it's going to be a lot like um, like a rocket or a travelers kind of thing. I think it's going to play a lot like those type of courses, right? So, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited about it. Um, uh, I'd love to see Matt. I mean, we talked about him a little bit uh, on some of the previous pods, but, you know, last week he didn't play that well. But, you know, a couple of weeks ago he was right there in contention at Rocket. And then um, if we look at he's a defending champion for the first time. So how is that going to go over well with him? You know, can he can he can he win a two week, two years in a row? And uh, it's going to be familiar for him. It's going to be familiar, and it's it's not yeah. that it's not that uh, tough of a field. So, with this yeah, kind of yeah. course, with this kind of course, this course fits his game. I think this course kind of fits his game to where uh, I think he's going to score well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Getting some insights here, are we? Get, getting uh, <laughs> sneaking one in there on us, are you? All right. All right so that's uh, that's kind of the course recap on uh, what we expect to um, to see from the TPC Twin Cities. <laughs> well, yeah. so, all right. So, man, let, let's uh, let's get into this thing. But before we do. Before we do, so I, I want to. I'm going to give you. A, I'm going to give you two players. Okay. And and I want you to. Uh, I'll just give them both to me. You don't in no, in no particular order. Well, it is an order of their uh, salary cap, but or their salary. But uh, I want you to give me your thoughts on why are they here this week? Why are they here at this place this week? And I think this is like a, such a punk move, especially for one of the guys. Uh, maybe both. All right. So you got DJ and Kepka. Yeah, the the highest price. So you got DJ at at eleven five, and you got Kepka at eleven two. Mm. What, what what are they doing here this week? Kepka needs FedEx points, and maybe he promised DJ a lot of fun. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, 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 Minneapolis is a fun town. I can't, can't argue. <laughs> and, and you're there at the right time of year. I, I, I can go I back know. to Jupiter. I don't my know. Ass. I mean, what are they doing here? I mean, DJ has not even, even when he won two weeks ago, three weeks ago, even when he won three weeks ago, he didn't even look like he wanted to be there for that victory. I know. I don't but know. He, so, he, so he misses a cut last week. And now he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> I, I only got to think that DJ just likes being around Brooks. I mean, they're big pals, right? They're huge pals. I mean, good buds. And uh, probably playing the practice rounds together. They could be sharing a house. Maybe they had already booked a house. Maybe there was a cancellation oh, policy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So so now, all right. So and now you've got Kepka. Uh, hold on. I, I'm, I'm playing... I'm not playing. My knee hurts. My knee doesn't hurt. I mean, I don't like. I would put him in. I, I mean, maybe I would stick him. I'd kind of shoehorn him in there because he's going to make the cut. Well, wait a minute. Tiger's not there, so if he can't follow Tiger's score, maybe Kepka doesn't hold enough weight to uh, get a few people to uh, drop a few strokes, so he makes it. But I mean, like to have Kepka and Johnson in Minneapolis. I mean, just look at the rest of the lineup. I mean, this is a, this is the star-studded uh, uh, groupings, right? Yeah. Well, oh, wait a minute. Or is Kepka showing up because he knows Bryson is not going to be there, and there's no <laughs> chance that he gets paired with him? Now that could, hey, oh, ah, we may be onto something there, buddy. It could be. It could be. Hey, Bryson's not playing next week. Oh, I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into these featured groups. Let's get some featured right. groups. All right. So featured groups, we've got uh, the number one group here. Not one. Not not in order or whatnot. But yeah, you got DJ, Finau, and Fleetwood. Uh, well, I mean, we haven't seen Fleetwood in how long? Uh, since the break. Since the break. Yeah. Since uh, Honda, right? I think it was Honda. Uh, well, I mean, he think he played the player the first round of the players or whatever. But yeah, yeah. Fleetwood, yeah, he played the players. So since uh, see, we haven't seen him since March. So you know, who knows what we're going to see there? I mean, that. Uh, you know, Finau, uh, uh, you know, hey, I, I, let me, I think he'll make the cut. And <laughs> yeah. I think I think his first two rounds are going to be great. But Tony, <laughs> is, I, I told you, I told not nobody owes anybody any money from the weekend. No. Uh, or nobody owes anybody a bottle of rum from the weekend. Excuse That's me. True. That's true. However, Tony Finau will not be the one to break 
the Puerto Rican curse, it will be Victor Hovland. Mm -hmm. Tony is not a closer. And no offense, Tony. This is uh, this is all speculative by my uneducated eye. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's decent. I mean, here, here's what you got. You got DJ moping around out there on course. Being like, oh, shit, I have, you know, Brooke showed up. I guess I, I, guess I will. <laughs> you got Finau that's going to be, I mean, Finau's going to be Finau. And you, no, I actually do. I, I find Fleetwood pretty entertaining on course. So I, I think out of the three, I mean, he's the one that I'm most interested I in watching. I like watching Fleetwood play. <laughs> yeah. I like watching him play. Yeah. And, and I'm interested to see what he does coming back, right? Because now, I mean, he's got he's got a small window to get kind of ramped up for uh, for the majors. So um yeah it's i'm 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 intrigued I, that that's who i'm going to be watching in that group okay second group you've got um matt wolf defending champion max homa and grace mm, okay we didn't have anybody else so <laughs> we picked we just we, we uh, oh oh, oh, oh they they all rented a house together so there maybe there's some house stories or something i i don't know i, I don't know yeah don't know. It, it's fine i mean Homa, I think he missed a cut last week. No, no, no. Let me give you a stat on Homa. I'm looking this up. So this is a, this has got to be correct. Since they're coming back from the break, Max Homa's made one cut. Yeah, there you go. He made the RBC. He missed it at Charles Schwab. He missed it at Travelers. He missed it at Workday. And he missed it at Memorial. Yeah. Um. So, well, we've got, so, all right, well, hey, hey, let me, let me double that. Let me double down on that one. Brandon, (laughs) Brandon Grace, uh, past three tournaments, missed cuts. Yeah. Uh, his last make was, um, the, at Heritage, Miss yeah. Travelers, Miss Rocket Mortgage, and Miss Memorial. So. This is what I was running into today when I was doing my lineup. I was looking at these guys, and I'm like, these guys are not not necessarily. You know, we're not you know we're not picking anybody. We're just stating facts here. But but it was tough to fill these lineups up because a lot of these guys have not been playing that well, which is probably why they're playing this event, right? Yeah. All right. So now we got uh, what? Did, which this one is a little intriguing to me, and I, I am putting one of the guys in my lineup. But uh, you got Kepka. Kevin Mitchell and uh, CH3. Mm-hmm. So I, to me, um, well, I don't know. I like the next one coming up too. But uh, so to me, I think this one is going to be kind of, it's going to be okay. Uh, I don't particularly care to watch Kepka on the course. He's not very entertaining to me. And especially if he's not hitting the ball well, then he is really sour. And just uh, it, just all putting, and I'm going. I hope, hey, I hey. hope Mitchell and Hal like looking for balls. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think they put them with it, man? They're the best ball hawkers on, on the tour. Um, hey, so but and and hey, and and if the the between the Kepka and commentators, I mean, it is just like, man, that is a recipe for I'm starting Bloody Marys early, mm-hmm. early, baby. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's decent, yeah, and we, whatever, I don't know, we'll see what Kepka pulls off, and Kevin Mitchell, I don't know, I, I actually like CH3 this week, so. Yeah, I was, I was contemplating that as well, we'll get into that in a little bit, yeah, and the last one that. here is, uh, Watson, Perez, and, um, and Casey, so. so this that's to a, me, yeah. this to me is the feature group. Yeah, it is. Uh, I, I think yeah. Paul missed the cut last week, uh that's uh I'll, I'll share a little more about him uh, when we get into this thing uh you know pat pat i don't know he that that, that stuff he has going on i mean it's got to be hot out there they should have put him with kepka because he is kenny powers exactly <laughs> oh. oh no 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 he plays too fast for brooks you know, it's like bryson plays too slow Pat plays too fast. It's like, dude. Oh, there, what, what there's we, a there's a threesome for you. We talked about <laughs> who, who's gonna, who's going to fill out that, that 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 trio of a featured group. Put Brooks, Bryson, and, and Pat in there. <laughs> well, here's what I think. Now we're talking about Pat Perez, but and and Pat Reed is not playing this tournament. No, I'm talking about right? Perez. Yeah, I'm talking about Perez. Yeah, yeah, no, no. But I'm telling you, but you put uh, you put Kepka, Pat Reed. And DeChambeau, I mean, that is a freaking fish fight for sure. I'm oh, sorry. Wait, I'll, but take not, yeah, I'll take right. you to Pat. I'll take you to Pat for that. To finish That's that one it. out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Sorry. So we, we've digressed here. Uh, and then you got Bubba Watson, which, you know, Bubba's Bubba. And Bubba's always kind of entertaining and like quirky on the course. I like, so. I like Bubba. Yeah. Yeah. He struck the ball well last week, actually. Uh, okay. 
That's one. That's one. He struck the ball. Oh, he struck the ball well. Okay, he struck the ball well. He just didn't. He just didn't score. Is what you're saying? Yeah, I'm. I'm saying I like the way he was hitting the ball. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not kidding. Yeah, Um, Yeah, I can read you a scratch. Hold on, I'll read you a scratch. Give me a second here. Keep talking. You keep talking. Well, he he. So so again, round one snuck up on a lot of people, but you got 78, 68, 70, 76. I would not call that striking the ball well. He gained two shots on approach last week, and he gained a shot off the tee. I mean, I'm just saying that for the striking, he lost he lost shots around the green and on 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 the on the green. So I'm just saying he struck the ball really well with the you know last week. So yeah, I mean he wasn't he, I thought he hit the ball really well. And uh, the score is he finished third uh, thirty second. But I mean he did yeah, he did no, he didn't he didn't, he didn't he didn't hit the ball bad last week. Yeah. Yeah. The issue that we're running into this week is you're having to pay a premium price for sub premium players. Yes. Oh, and I shouldn't say yes. that for sub premium scores yeah. as scores, as it's yeah. related to DraftKings, yeah. and that's where it's kind of like, oh shit! Well, everybody that you've been picking up for six or seven thousand dollars are yeah. now in the you know they're in the eight or nine thousand dollar range, and it's just kind of like, oh okay, well, I mean, so so I think the scoring and all is you know in total is going to be lower this week as far as DraftKings goes. So I mean, yeah. it's kind of it's it's an adjustment on how you're picking your lineup. So yeah, yeah. it did look was for me at least. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. My my value players all of a sudden are not my value players anymore. No, so not. no. Sorry, we'll get into it. Peel it back, man. Who you got? Right. Uh, well, your, you, uh, you go you first. You I'm gonna leave. You're on vacation. I'm going to give you the uh, the honors first. Oh well, look at you being a doll. All right, here we go. Go into that uh, uh, top range. Get that top yeah, range. And who's yeah, available yeah. in that top yeah. range? So uh, so above ten thousand. Uh, I, I picked one, man. I'm picking Paul Casey. Ooh. Uh, I mean, so, you know, we said it. This is a ball strikers course. Um, it's going to look like the lot like the first three rounds. He is uh, he is my most expensive player at 10,100. However, um, I mean, I think uh, I mean, he's one of the better ball strikers and in, in, not in the field, but on tour. And nice guy, uh, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. Super <laughs> nice guy. Super nice guy. <laughs> Uh, he missed the cut last week, but, um, he's still, but he, he gained 3.6 strokes in ball striking. So he lost it, you know, driving and putting, but I mean, his ball striking didn't kill him. So if he can get those things pulled in, and I think last week was his first, uh, tournament back since the break. I think, uh, I don't recall seeing him in any other, uh, but he, he could have been, let me, let me make the, no, uh, he played, think- yeah. I think he played one other one, yeah. Oh, he did. He played the he played the travelers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and he played the travelers and actually played really well. So uh, came in thirty second. So uh, yeah, he missed last week, but uh, but yeah, I, I like Paul. I mean, out of the, for the price to try to save a little bit. I think I think that that guy's. I think he's going to score well for me in in the lineup. Let's just talk about these guys for a second. So. The most expensive guy this week is DJ at eleven thousand five hundred. Did you see that coming? I didn't quite see that coming. I don't know the way he played well, last who, week. Who who else are you going to pick? I mean, Tommy. Tommy's right there. I mean, I guess. Dude, you have no idea what he's going to do. I mean, you have no idea what DJ is going to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cocaine, cocaine hookers. You saw what he did last week. He was horrible last week. Oh, hey, you know what he's going to be doing. You know what he's doing in the Twin Cities. <laughs> Hey, which which means maybe maybe we should rethink this and put him in our lineup because we yeah. all know when he's at his A game. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Brooks was eleven two. I mean, yeah. I mean, just yeah. I know these guys are the big names and all, and they're probably going to win, but uh, oh, just I, expensive I don't, I don't, as can be. I don't think so. I don't. Yeah. I don't have them for the win. I don't. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Finau ten thousand nine hundred didn't finish well last week. Um, I really was contemplating putting Tommy in, but he was just too too expensive for me. So, yeah, I don't have him in mind. Uh, so I'll go next. My, um, I'll go for, you know, for my first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my most expensive guy is Harris English. Uh, I put him wow. in my Wow. Yeah, 9000 bucks. So last week he finished 13th uh, at RBC. He was 17th. Charles Schwab missed a cut. Um, 1.5 shots gained, T to green, uh, about a shot gained off the approach, 25th off the T, 29th on approach for the PGA Tour. Uh, a memorial, he had uh, two and a half shots gained uh, on Sunday on uh, on approach. And then T to green on Sunday gained uh, three shots on the field. Um, eighth, in, eighth in total shots gained on Sunday. So, I mean, the guy was just playing really well last week at a really tough course. I like the way that game is lining up, and I think he's going to play well this week. 
Yeah, fair pick, man. Yeah, I, I had him in my lineup for the Memorial, so I and, and wasn't disappointed. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, yeah. the thirteenth's good. Yeah, yeah, yep, solid. All right, so uh, so I've got a drastic drop after. Well, I guess not as drastic as your. Well, maybe you said he was nine thousand. So my next uh-huh. guy's uh, eighty eight hundred bucks. Uh, Eric Van Ruyen. Mm-hmm. So in the South African, uh, he's a uh, and he may be in yours, but he's a University he of Minnesota guy. So he's a yeah. local dude. Yeah. Um. He's another guy that's just, I mean, ball striking. Uh, he's got those little skinny pants on with the tight legs. <laughs> um, you know, he looks really, uh, looks really cute out there on course, you know, oh, bouncing God. around. And, yeah, I mean, I mean, how much better, uh, like, uh, what it's, uh, he was second in the field, strokes gained, uh, approach, uh, well, second in the field for strokes gained and approach, and fifth in tee to green. So, I mean, with those kind of stats at that kind of tournament that was beat, just eating people alive, Yep. Uh, he's definitely walking on to an easier course here. So I yep. mean, if he can, if he can keep that going, I mean, I I think that's a pretty good, um, pretty good running. And here's the other for eighty eight hundred dollars. I mean, how can I not go with that guy? Uh, I mean, it's kind of like okay, how many how many EVRs can I get? Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. didn't find any more. <laughs> exactly. Now, he's in my lineup as well. And, uh, and I'll, I'll add some on here from yours. Uh, 22nd Memorial last week is where he finished. He was 21st at RBC. Uh, gained 2 billion, 2.2 shots gained uh, last week at Memorial. 2.08 on approach. Three shots on Sunday. Tita Green. Sunday he was really gained. So, I mean, again, just striking the ball really well. I liked the way yeah. he's playing. I did like the way he was playing a couple weeks ago, but I did like what I saw last week. So, yeah, yeah I, I can't argue with it. And then a native... Semi-native in terms to the to the area, you know, Wait, you know he's gonna play it well. So, yeah. He's gonna play it well. Uh, how can I not go with a South African guitar playing person from Minnesota? There we go. I mean, it's like <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, it's a trifecta. That, that's, a tri, that's a trifecta. There you go. Um, all right, man. So and, and hey, and and uh, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this guy. I'm uh, so my next pick at uh, seventy four hundred bucks. I'm going CH three. Uh, seventy four hundred bucks. Uh, Seventy four hundred, yeah, yep. Okay. Um, so I'm. It's uh, what's uh, what did he? So he missed. Uh, he's missed his past two cuts. Missed. Um, missed workday. Missed RBC Heritage. Yeah. Uh, Memorial. He came in at forty eighth. Got a 69, 77, 73, 77. So you know, all in all, I mean, it's a, it's a little bit, a little troublesome. Yeah, uh, I don't you know. CH three. I mean, it's uh, they, there's a reason he's like the he's won the most money of uh, all players on tour ever. Uh, I mean, he's he yeah, uh, that may or may not be true, but I don't he think is true. <laughs> I, he don't, is, I he, think there's a lot of people that want more money than him, but he does win a lot of money. <laughs> but, but but he's sneaky good, man. He's sneaky good, and I like him at seventy four hundred dollars, especially in this field. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, he, and he, he did well there last year. He finished 23rd there last year. 68, 66, 66, so opening. And then, uh, you know, he did fade on Sunday with a 71. But, I mean, hey, if, that, if, you, if he gives me 68, 66, 66, 71, I, per, I'm, I'm solid. I'll What's take that? it all. Where is that from? Is that from here last year? Yeah, that yeah, was here last year. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the 3M Open um, in 2019. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. He hasn't had a top 25 finish since uh, – uh, what uh, since Hawaii, um, and you know he's. Uh, I mean, he's been struggling, let's say, but he's been making cuts. So he's eleven to sixteen as far as uh, the cuts go, and I mean that's what I need. I need somebody that's going to make it into the weekend, and he played good here last year. So that's yeah. my. Uh, that, that's why I'm rolling with him at seventy four hundred. So okay, my next one I had. Um, so I had. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna list these off because I get yelled at. Uh, <laughs> I had Doc Redman in my lineup. Um, oh. Yeah, I missed the cut at Memorial, um, but I like the way he's been playing. I've been playing him a lot. So he, you know, he's 21st at the Rocket, 11th at Travelers, 21st at RBC, and you know, he's a big, he's a big shot scan approach guy. So um, yeah, I like the way he's uh, been playing. Uh, I didn't like him last week, but that's a different type of course, a lot different right. type of course than this. And um, yeah, I, I like him here. So you, mean the he, bucks. You, mean, you mean the fact that he missed the cut? No. Yeah. I, like the way, the oh. I think oh, he, uh, no, I think he's a good ball striker. I think, he's a so, great, I think this is going to line up really well for him. Hey, I'm, I'm remiss. We have to give our full lineup at the end. That way people get it straight. So uh, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. We've been chastised. Okay. So I, I miss my guy. I miss my guy. And, and I'm going down this road. And I don't, I'm doing it just because out of principle. And I said, 
three weeks ago that if I could buy the guy at his uh, $6,300 price tag, let me, let, me, let me make sure I'm getting that price tag right. Uh, one, two, three, four, four weeks ago, four weeks ago at the Travelers Championship, I said, if I can buy him for $6,000, I'll take him right now because that's what he was. Mm-hmm. So he was $6,000, uh, 6500 6500 6300 at the Memorial. He came in. Uh, what do you finish? T uh, T four or maybe solo four at the memorial. Uh, I'm sorry, he finished sixth at the memorial, and that's my man Henrik Norlander oh. coming in coming in hot at eighty six hundred dollars. Oh. I fe- hey, the Swede is bringing something to Minnesota, man. You're you're you're, uh, you're, you're flushing up the uh, the big dough for him, man. Oh, I am, I am. You know what? I mean, he has he hasn't disappointed me yet. So I'm thinking, and and listen, to be honest, I mean, he, like this weekend, he churned out, he churned out $8,600. And I think that that's where I hope, I hope that scares some people off. 76 points uh, this weekend, 71 last weekend, 89 points at uh, at Rocket Mortgage, Mm -hmm. 71 points at Travelers. Uh, okay, well, the, uh, what was that, the Schwab? I mean, that was kind of shitty. Uh, he, he missed a cut. But my point is, is every week mm. since the Schwab, he's... Scoot to, your, scoot to your right a little bit. That sun is right behind you. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I just noticed that. I would have told him to get away from there a little bit sooner. <laughs> well, <laughs> We're trying to do our best while he's on vacation. At well, least that's are, a little better. Well, well, we are at the beach, so, you yeah. know. Yeah, it's a yeah, that sun is bright, buddy. That's bright. Anyway, Real. just keep yeah. Yeah. A little so, bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more to the to the right. A little bit more to the right, the camera. There you go. That's good. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna Sorry guys. Good. We're live. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are live. So yeah, so I went Norlander, man. I I mean I'm thinking uh I mean I I think uh I, we've been that's been a value up until this point. And now um uh, hey I think we're paying what we did, what we should have been paying the whole time. So yeah, I, plus I, the I, results I you've been getting. Yeah. 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 No issues, man. I mean, that, that came through to me. Sorry about that. I, I got this little off track. So no, no, no. I love it. Yeah. I love the pick. I love the pick. Um, so mine is, so I did, so I had run, I had run, all right. Um, uh, list. I had Luke list in mine. 44th off. He's 8,400 bucks. 44th off the T. Forty uh, second, uh, Tita Green uh, for the, on the uh, PGA Tour. Finished tenth at Memorial. Missed the cut at Workday. Twenty first at Rocket. I like what we saw from last week. Gained three point two on shots on Sunday. Tita Green shot under par on Sunday. I think he was only one of like the five players to do that on Sunday. And then um, a one point seven five shots gained Tita Green last week. So uh, I like what I saw. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I I won't argue with you about the Luke List pick, man. I mean, it's um, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. I mean, he's uh, what is it, ten, fifteen, twenty one? I mean, he's scoring really well. I mean, well, he's finishing well. Uh, points wise, you know, it's kind of shaky. So uh, I I don't. Yeah, I mean, with with what you got to pick from, I mean, I guess it's worth a gamble. Yeah, it's, it's a gamble. Uh, it's a gamble. Was it worth it? For, was it worth it for me? But uh, but uh, yeah, I, I know where you went there. Yeah. Uh, all right, man. So for my next guy, I went. Uh, I went Carlos Ortiz. Mm. Uh, I've really, I've really got an international lineup this week. Have you noticed you that? Sure do. You sure yeah. do. <laughs> um, so here, here's my thing about Ortiz, man. I mean, you know, it's uh, it's kind of the Norlander syndrome for me. Um, yeah, I mean, he's uh, he's finishing well. Uh, he's making he's making most of the cuts. And, uh, you know, he's scoring decent. What I really need for him is I need an RBC Heritage showing where he scored 100 points and, uh, you know, lit the field up. And he finished in uh, he finished at 33 and still scored 100 points. So, uh, I mean, there's going to be some things there. You know, he's got a couple of eagles, uh, a lot of birdies. So and I think that's, you know, I mean, that's where that and I think that's this course is going to be gettable in the sense that uh, that that's going to be able to happen. So. All right, so yeah, so, yeah. so going going over T seventy seven hundred bucks. Uh, I liked him out of the mix, man. So yeah, there you go, there you go. All right, my next one I've got is uh, I'm going for Kenny Powers. I'm going for Pat Perez at uh, <laughs> seventy two hundred bucks. Seventy two hundred bucks. Uh, 
<laughs> I, I wish I would. I wish I could go Pat Perez. I know. I, know. I wish I could go Pat Perez. I can't, uh, I can't put a trigger on him. He's been he's been playing decent since the return. I mean, he's not yeah. he's not missing any hardly any. He missed RBC. I think it's the only cut he's missed since the return. So at seventy two hundred bucks, thirty ninth at Workday, forty fifth at Rocket, forty uh, ninth at Charles Schwab, and fifty three at three uh, M last year. So I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I I I had to get a guy that could I could trust to kind of play through the weekend, and I think he's been trying to show me those kind of stats. So yeah. Yep, I like it. I like it. So, all right. So, next guy, I'm going with Sam Ryder at 7,300. Saw him too. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I think he's a good option. Uh, he didn't play well at the Memorial, or he didn't play uh, at Memorial at all, but he did play uh, earlier in the week at uh, Workday. You know, looked decent there. Uh, he had the third most birdies in the field. He finished 66, 69. Uh, so, he was T7. And, I mean, I think that the the workday mirror field is going to be more similar to the uh, Twin Cities, uh, TPC Twin Cities. So, I mean, that, that, at least that's my thinking, right? And uh, what is he? He was T34 at the 3M last year, 69, 66, 71, 66. So other than the third day debacle, uh, you know, everything was uh, kind of on point. So uh, what is he? He's number 83 in the FedEx Cup. And, uh, you know, from the field standpoint, I mean, I, I, I like him. I, I think we got something here. There you go. And um, I'm rounding out my lineup with uh, Johnny Vegas. Uh, I played him a couple of weeks ago. I liked the way he's been playing. 7900 uh, bucks, sixth off the tee on tour. Can you believe that? Sixth off the tee off tour, on tour. 67th tee to green, missed the cut at Workday, 24th at Travelers, 17th at RBC Heritage, 60th at Charles Schwab. But hey, look at this, 27th at Honda, 9th in Puerto Rico. So in the last six starts, he's missed one cut, and uh, he's been playing really well. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, you know, so it, it'll be interesting. You know, I'm looking over my um, over my scoreboard here. I think I've got three players uh, that would typically be under seven uh, under seven thousand dollars or just that, and uh, they're all over seven thousand dollars. So, uh, yeah, interesting lineup this week for sure. Uh, definitely made uh, maybe had to work for uh, for my lineup this week, kind of finding the uh, the good, the bad, and uh, not so Kepkas. It was really tough for me because there was there's some good names at the top. There's always good names at the top, but they're really expensive. And uh, if you played them, it was tough to play people that you could trust lower. You know, it seemed like it was really yeah. got a little tough towards the end there. You know. All right, what do you got, man? I do, I do. Right, what do you got, man? Uh, let's see. Um, things are going good uh, here in Merle's Inlet. We're uh, we'll be heading to uh, Caledonia and Tidewater a little later in the week, and some more uh, some more golf, salty golfer. Uh, let's just say he didn't take home the most skins today. Uh, I'm sure we'll uh, we'll have a report back on a later pod about uh, how it went, but so far uh, they haven't canceled the tee times on us, so I guess we got an invitation. There you go. All right. Well, you're you're breaking up pretty good, so we're gonna we're gonna cut this short. But guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, really appreciate it. You got the lineups there. Um, Cal is uh, on vacation as he usually. I think he's like every other week he's on vacation these days. So, <laughs> but uh, we're having a great time. Hope you're having a good time listening. Uh, we're looking forward to this tournament here. I hey, okay, well, Cal, who's your outright? Who's your outright? Your outright. Uh, I'm going to go Norlander, man. I'm going Norlander. You think Norlander's going to win? He's going to win the tournament? I mean, I'm saying, I'm just saying, he's, I mean, he looked damn good last week. Damn right. good. Uh, Who are you picking? Who are you picking? Uh, um, Harris English. My, he's my top guy. My top guy. Yeah. Uh, fair he enough. finished 13th yeah. in order. That was a tough course, man. That guy's been playing well. So, yeah. All right. It's going to be fun. Cheers. be fun. Cheers.